Fiesta like there's no manana. What's up guys, it's Grace from Pittsburgh Fit and today I'm gonna to take you through your workout for today. Warm up, we have two rounds, 10 plank shoulder taps, 10 Spider-Man lunges, and 10 push-ups. So plank shoulder taps, we're gonna come down to a plank position. We're gonna bring that opposite arm up to the opposite shoulder and switch. You'll stay on the ground here, go into a Spider-Man lunge, lift that leg all the way up to that same arm, reach that same arm up to the sky, and then we'll switch here. In our final position, we'll also be on the floor. We have 10 push-ups. So from that plank position we're working from, you're gonna drop your chest down to the floor, push up. We're gonna go through that one more time before getting into that second part of our warm-up. We have two rounds of 10 slow goblet squats, 10 bicep curls, and 10 hollow rocks. So these slow goblet squats, you're gonna hold that dumbbell in that goblet position, right in that center of your ch chest. You're gonna send your hips back, keep that chest up nice and tall, slowly lower down, and push those heels through the floor as you stand on up. After that, we are gonna go into 10 bicep curls. So you're gonna hold both heads of that dumbbell, keeping your elbows nice and close to your body that whole time. We're gonna flex our elbows just so we get that dumbbell up to the front of our shoulders and then back down. Our final position will be 10 hollow rocks. So we're gonna come into a hollow body position and rock back and forth. To make it a little bit harder, we'll put our hands behind our head. If we need to be a little easier, we can put our hands down to our sides. And then we're just gonna keep that hollow body position, legs nice and tight as I'm rocking back and forth there. Go through that one more time and that will finish up our warm up for today. Our strength, we're gonna go through three sets of 10 single arm dumbbell upright rows, 15 dumbbell pullovers, and 20 alternating single dumbbell dead bugs. All right, so these upright rows, you're gonna pick up one of these dumbbells. You're gonna use one arm at a time here. We're pulling with our elbow. All right, notice this top position, my elbow's up higher than my wrist here. I'm coming back down. 10 on one side, and then I'm gonna switch arms do 10 on the other, keeping that dumbbell nice and close that whole entire time. From there, we're gonna go into 15 dumbbell pullovers. You can do this off a bench, you can do this off a med ball to get a little more activation here. But you're gonna come down, all right, you're gonna keep your arms nice and straight here. You're gonna have a little bend in your elbow. You're gonna pull that dumbbell back behind you, getting a big stretch in that lat, and then come back up. Going for 15 reps there before coming into a single dumbbell dead bug. We're gonna hold that um, dumbbell right above you. All right, you're gonna pinch your toes back towards you and you're gonna bring one leg out and all the way back to that 90 degrees, switching sides there. 20 reps there, we'll rest as needed between our sets. Again, we are going for three sets there. It's gonna bring us into our workout. We have a 20 minute EMOM for you guys today. All right, we have four movements. That fifth minute is gonna be rest. Minute one, you're gonna hop on a rower or a bike for 12 or 15 calories of cardio. Minute two, you have 45 seconds of max no push-up renegade rows. So you're gonna take two dumbbells here. Good thing is we do not have to do a push-up today. All right, we're just gonna hold that plank position and row this dumbbell up to our side and back down, switching sides there. All right, bring our feet out a little bit wider. We'll make this a little bit easier. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, bring your feet together. Minute three, we're going into a 45 second plank hold. All right, this time we're not rowing. You can do whatever variation you want here. All right, so we can do a plank from our elbows. We can do it from our hands. We can do a side plank. Doesn't really matter for me, All right? But we're looking for that nice hollow engaged core there. 45 second hold. Minute four, we have max med ball ground overhead in 45 seconds. So that med ball is gonna start between our feet. All right, you can hinge down, pick up that uh, med ball, and you're gonna bring it all the way overhead, keeping that med ball nice and close to your body the whole time. So notice it's not way out in front of me. The whole time I'm keeping it nice and close and doing a rapid hip extension to get that med ball overhead. Like I said earlier, that fifth minute, you get one minute of rest here. All right, give yourself some time to regroup before hitting back into that again. We'll go through that four times for a total of 20 minutes. Let us know how you like this EMOM in the comments below and have a great rest of your day.